mom. Oh, my son. I thought I lost you, mom. I thought I'd never see you again. Oh, Billy. Life is full of unexpected things. Some make you cheerful. And some break your heart. I wasn't there when you needed me. I ran out on you. It hurts so much, Billy. It felt like my heart was being ripped out of my chest when you left. But all hardship is temporary. Do you know this? And most of it is inevitable. I had to stay behind so that you could leave. And now you're the one in trouble. Do not worry for me. My troubles are over, my son. I don't want to go back out there. But I can't do this anymore. You are strong, Billy. We are survivors, you and I. We keep fighting even when we do not know how. You cannot help but be my son. I'm having twins, Mama. They're not born yet. I want to see them. I wanted you to see them. I miss you. We will be together soon. You just have one more hardship to do. She's dropping it! You ready, Kinderlech? We have less than seven seconds. Okay. Ready? Steady, march for button! Drop it! Oh. Anya, no! <laughs> Hurry! We have three seconds! We need to give his brain oxygenated blood or it will die.
afraid it's too late. Oh, no. No. What? Brain activity! Yes! It's alive! Oh. 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 Fucking genius, oh. Did I ever tell you that? Sit. Oh. Yes, Max is right. You should get out of here. The man ready for transport? Is taught. Scheiße. It's a big person on the planet hard enough to survive getting his head chopped off? It's the Blazkowicz. Can you hear me? Uh-huh. Okay, so listen to this. <clears throat> Some time ago, Caroline obtained this latest generation biologically engineered super soldier body from a Nazi scientific lab. Very, very impressive specimen. Angela, please show this to him. Look, William. Seth is going to attach this to build a connection between your head and your new body. Oh, yeah. Kindle, please, I'm a Nazi Family. Father, please come and help me here. Now, these are very rare Nazi company equipment from super soldiers. Our fight is found in the field. None of them is working, but I have enough material to fix one contraption. You should decide which one you want. You can choose. Blink once for this one, blink twice for the one in the middle, blink three times for that over there. Okay, Ingela, let's get to work. I will sedate you now. See you soon. I'm God, and you God, and you God, and you God, and you. How are you feeling, Mr. Blaskovich? Can you move your body? Yes, you can. Show us. Show us. I feel powerful. Do you remember your name? Do, do you remember your doings in the last two years? Aside from killing Nazis. <laughs> if you die one more time, William, I will murder you. some clothes. Send them to me when you're done. No, have you seen Getaway? Where's to get you? Where's to get you? Shim Shim. I get the Shim Shim. Where's the Blask of Each? How I look? Like a new man, Yankala. A new man. Oh, I look at you. I'm so happy you're back. Now, this, same thing Shoshana has. There's no, 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 no. This connects your head to your body. Very, very important not to fiddle with this. Now, you might feel some weird tingling sensation, not to worry, it's normal. But let me know if anything else happens. For example, your head trying to reject your new body, something like this. It's hot! Max! Max! Hot! <laughs> I feel the same way. I have prepared the contraption you wanted. Put it on. Let's see what you can do with it. Now, Mr. Blaskovich, you see this opening here? Too small to fit a large man like you, right? 
wrong. The constrictor harness will compress your torso so that you can fit into the narrowest spaces. But you have to be careful. When you use it, you won't be able to breathe. You can do it, Jingle! Go through the hole! Detention and public execution were the most well-guarded defense in television history. Cut it up there! Last words! My friend! What a happy day! Welcome back to the land of the living! Hi! Hey, welcome back and all that, Vasco. <laughs> I'd love to pinch your cheeks and ruffle your hair, but we drop this thing. Oh, it'll explode and sink the whole fucking boat. Would you mind coming over here and lending a hand? <sighs> Nexos! Nexos! Oh, God, here comes the idiot. Stay back, Max. This thing is very dangerous. You go boom like this. Oh, say your prayers. We're fucked now. They'll kill us all. No, 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 no! Nexos. <laughs> what in the name of ass tripping fucks has happened? Well done, Max. Outstanding. Oh, well, you're making this old Bodak sentimental, Blasco. We have to get this thing wired before we get to New Orleans. Oh, but it's right good to see you up and about again, Captain. <laughs> You're standing here, probably. You know what? And the only reason you are standing here is Anya. Dingle, have you had a chance to speak to Grace? I think she needs your assistance with something. Yeah, that reminds me of Blasco. Was it you who brought the, uh, <clears throat> recommendation letter I was uh, writing to Maria? Yeah, you know I hate writing sodding words about as much as I hate Nazis, but, uh, she seemed, uh, happy about it, so, uh, no harm done, I suppose. Right, carry on. Oh, Ibleskovich! Oh, Ibleskovich! I saw what she did to you on the television broadcast! It was horrible. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry a thousand times. But now I really have to be. I'm so happy to see you alive again. Might want to light a match or something. Oh! My God! That stinked! Should go see if Grace has a job for me. Put this new body to good use. You asleep? Hmm? Oh, I just wanted to get some rest before we arrive at New Orleans. Mm, just such a long ride. Need a few minutes. Can you put your arms around me, William? I met him on you. I seen him and I wasn't afraid no more. Oh, William. And your mother? What happened in the garage? In the garage? First time you tried to rescue me. Frau Angle's men attacked you in the garage. I heard the gunshots. 
Oh, that was nothing. We had some tricks up our sleeve. That's exactly what Super Spare said. Answer my question. Which one? Is this real? Or am I in heaven? Hey, Blazkowicz. Is it true what they say coming? We are on the way to New Orleans? Yep. What is it that we are doing in New Orleans? Don't know. Some shit. I listened to Grizz speak. She speaks English. So we have lots of spice on food. Yeah. Alessandro? Tell me, why do people not speak to me? Well, uh, I... I don't know. Please, you can tell me. Do I look funny? No, signora. You are beautiful. I smell that. No, no. You smell good, like jasmine. Then why? You have, um, a lot of character. What's wrong with having character? No, I mean, you speak of strange things sometimes. Pardon? I only say what the voice in my head tells me to say. Exacto. And the voice scares people. What did you tell Abraham the other day when he tried to speak to you during lunch? I told him about the time I spent at the hospital in Paris. What is wrong with that? And? And? I was stabbed my doctor to death and cut him up to little pieces. That is what I'm talking about. But is the truth? The doctor was going to put the drill in my head. Sometimes, Signora, truth is scary for people. Especially so during lunch. Gah, 